Good morning, everyone. I am your teacher, Danny of Paliparan 3 Senior High School. Today, we'll discuss about the musical instrument. The Philippines has a unique history on musical instruments dated back from pre-colonial period. The early Filipinos played different musical instruments with distinctive purpose like for courtship, marriage, and good harvest. Recent-day musicological studies following the horn bostel sax classification divide instruments into the following categories. First is idiophones, second aeropones, third is chordophones, fourth is membranophones, and the last is electrophones. Idiophones are classified as instruments that produce sound from the substance of the instrument itself, like wood or metal. They are subdivided into those that are stuck, scraped, plucked, shaken, or rubbed. There are metals and wooden idiophones in the Philippines, like bamboo. We have idiophones categories. The number one is percussion idiophones, are hit with sticks, beaters, or clappers, like bells and steel drums. Number two is shaken idiophones, are shaken like the maracas, eggs, and jingle bells. The number three is concussion idiophones, are played by clashing two of them together like the castanets, claves, and spoons. Four is the friction idiophones, are made to vibrate by rubbing them, as when you make the wine glass ring by rubbing its ring. Another one is the scrape idiophones, are played by scraping a stick across a set of notches, or corrugations on the instruments, like gyro and the washboard. Number six is stamping idiophones, are stamped on the ground, floor, or hard surface. Top shoes are in this category. It is a stamp idiophone. If the main sound is coming from the surface that is being stamped on. The number seven is flap idiophones, have a tin tongue or metal or bamboo that vibrates when plucked, like juice sharp, harp, embera, or thumb piano. Metal idiophones has two categories, the flat gongs and the boss gongs. Most of the flat gongs are made of bronze, brass, or iron, are found principally in the north among the Isneg, Tingian, Kalinga, Buntok, Ibaloy, Kankanay, Gadang, Ipugao, and Ilongot. They are commonly referred to as Gangsa. The gongs vary in size. These are stuck with wooden stick or sticks, padded wooden sticks, or slapped with the palm of the hand. Gong in Cordillera Islanders is an integral part of peace, pack gatherings, marriages, priesthood ceremonies, feasts, or rituals. This is the example of gongs, the agong, and the kulintang. This is how the kulintang is made to produce a sound by using a stick. Gongs have a central proportions or not, hence the term bows gongs. They are three of types. First sets of graduated gongs laid in a row called the kulintang. Second larger deep rim gongs with sides that are turned in called agong. And the third gongs with narrower rims and less prominent bosses called gandingan. These gongs have played alone, alone, but are often combined 
with other instruments to form a various types of ensembles in southern Philippines. The bamboo jupones abound in the Philippine xylophones, drums, whale-shaped tubes, stamping tubes, scrapers, buzzers, and the clappers. In southern Philippines, the bamboo xylophone, like gabang, also yakan, sama, tausug, and palawan are found. Xylophone consists of bamboo, keys of graduated lengths mounted on the trapezoidal box. The number of keys, usually ranging from 3 to 22, but varies among the different ethnic groups. Among the Kalinga in Northern Luzon, individual xylophone like blade or blades called patatag are stuck with bamboo sticks. This is an example of the bamboo idiopons made from the bamboo placed in a wood. Another one example of a, an idiopons using the bamboo by tapping or striking a stick on the bamboo. The Bukidnon Bantula is a bamboo, a slip drum, which is fashioned out of a bamboo tube, closed at both ends with a node, with a slip cut out of the tube. Its main use is to announce important events, and this is found among different groups of people. The Marano Tagutok and the Magindanao Kagul are struck whale-shaped bamboo, tubes with notches, each of the bam of the tube are found only in southern Philippines, such as in the in this instrument, the player scrapes the notches with a bamboo stick. Bamboo buzzers are widespread among the Cordillera Highlanders. These are made from the length of bamboo close with a nod at the bottom, with its top half shaped so that two tongues face each other. On top half is struck against the palm of the hand. These are known by different names such as Balingbing, Peu Peu, Bakung, Bilbil, Bungkaka by the various groups. Bamboo clapper, hunger, passion from the tubular section of bamboo is split from one end to approximately half of the tube is common among the ipugaw. To make it more flexible when the hubs are made to flat against each other, each half of the split portion is shaped to make a narrower in the middle. A hanuno o kalutang is consists of pair of sticks cut from forest trees. This is a wooden idiopone that includes sticks, suspended lugs, and lug drums. It is struck against each other and played while hiking through forests and mountain trails. The instrument of Ipugao Patong is a percussion yoke bar made from the tapered piece of wood and struck with a stick. This is used in ceremonies for the sick at rites, which entail the offering of sacrificial things at the death rituals. In southern Philippines, suspended lugs are widespread, where they are known by different ethnic or ethnic names. Magindanao luntang is consists of several lugs with varying lengths hung in, in order from the longest to shortest. One performer will strike the pointed playing end, ends of its lug, creating a melody against its or which another performer beats drone rhythm on one of the lugs. In the Philippines, Harp are principally made from bamboo, and some are made of metal. This is a type of mouth-resonated instrument 
consisting of a flexible tongue fixed at one end of the surrounding frame. The player play this instrument by placing the free end of the instrument with the hand or by pulling a string attached to the blade. This instrument have different names among the various ethnic groups. In the south, it is commonly termed is Kubing, and in the north, it is Ulibaw. This is the example of Kubing and the Ulibaw in how it play. Next one is the aeropones. It is a flutes, pan pipes, and reed pipes are among the Philippine bamboo aeropones. The flutes are the most widespread and numerous which are mostly end blown with the air stream directed into the open end of the tube. The categories of the aeropones. The number one is the whistle. The air is blown at the sharp edges in the instrument as in recorders as well as police whistles. Number two is blow hole instruments. The air is blown across the sharp edges of the blue hole. When the instrument is tube shaped, the blue hole can be in the end. End blown as in pan pipes or in the side of the instrument or side blown as in the pipe. Number three in is in red instruments. The variation or the vibration of the red or reeds begin the air vibration in single red like saxophone, for example, and double red like obo instruments. The one or two reeds are part of the mouthpiece. The bagpipes and the pre-red instruments such as the harmonica in the accordion, in the single or double reds are mounted somewhere inside the instrument. Number four categories, and here can be many of them sometimes in different reds for every piece. And the number five, in cup mouthpiece instrument, the player bases the lips against the mouthpiece, causing the sympathetic vibration in the air inside the instrument. Example is the bugle and the conch shell. The number six is the pipes of the organ have the sharp edges like the whistle, but the pipes are filled with air from something other than the mouth or nose, usually a below or some sort. The number seven is free aeropones like ball rollers, toy spinning tops, cause vibration in the air around them rather than inside them. In northern and southern Philippines, the leaf valley nuts float, so-called because of its mouthpiece, which is obliquely cut in curve at a slant to follow the contour of the player's lips. These are known by different names among the different linguistic groups, such as the Paldong in the south and the Balin Palindag in the north. These are instruments of leisure and used for serenading, courting, or merely to pass the time away. Another type of end blown flute is a nose flute. This is found mostly in the northern Philippines where the Kalinga called it Tungali, the Buntok, Kaleling, and the Ipugao, Ongiyong. This is also found sporadically in some areas of the south among the Hanunoo, Lantoy, the Batak, Lantoy, and the Bukidnon, Bulaktub. In Palawan, the Kuyunin is gigantic nose flute with tubes with larger in diameter than those found in Luzon. Suling in southern Philippines is less common flute and the ring type. The whistle type is called tumpung. 
on in Subanon, and the red is called sa unay in Tausog. The sagay po in Kalinga in the sagay of in Buntok are stock pipes found in the northern Philippines. This bamboo pipe is closed on one end by the node with the opened and held against the lower lip of the player as he blows directly across the top. This pipe can be played individually by one person or in symbols of three or more. Another one is the diwas, diw diwas or diw diw, are rarely used today. These are bamboo pan pipes. It consists of the number of bamboo pipes from 5 to 8 strung together. The flauta of Ilongo, Cebuano or Bicol, the flauta of Manubo, and the palauta of Hanono or Waray are the most Philippines transverse flutes that are adaptation or limitations of European versions. We have here the example of Gudyong, the lunga. Some blown instruments are made from shell or carabao horn. They are used for calling people or sending messages over wide distances. The shell trumpets include the budyong, lunga, tubari. The carabao horn are the tambuli in Tagalog, in the kugao or ipugao. In modern days, these are the instruments called the aeropones. We have the brass instrument made from brass. The next is the cordopones. These are bamboo or wood string instruments that may be struck, plucked, or bowed. They included sitters, lutes, and bowed strings. We have different categories. In sitters, the strings are stretched across, over, or inside the resonator, or between two resonators. The resonator can be a hollow tube, a ground, a board, or the hollow box, or even a pit in the ground. Some have finger fingerboard, with or without frets. Some have keyboard with a complex mechanism. Many are simply a multitude of strings strung from one end of the resonator to the other. The string can be struck as in the piano or plucked as in the harp C chord. The number two is lutes. The string stretches across the resonator in up a neck. They can be plucked like guitar or banjo or bowed like violin or the pedal. In lyres, the string leaves the resonator at right angles to an edge and run to the crossbar that is held away from the resonator as in the classical Greek lyre that is so often used as a symbol of music. Number four is the harps. Like the orchestral harp, the strings leave the resonator at the slant smaller than the right angle up to the neck connected to the resonator. The number five is a musical bow or bow. The string of or strings are stretched from one end to the wooden bow or bow to the other. Some have resonators, but many don't. They can be plucked or bowed with a second smaller bow. The Philippine zitters have resonating bodies that are made from bamboo tubes or half tubes with strings that run parallel to the length of the tube. In Northern Luzon, Mindanao, and Palawan, 
tube seaters are found. They have two types, the polycordal seaters with several strings that run around the tubes, and the parallel string seaters, which have two strings on one side of the tube. The parallel string tube seaters, we have two bamboo strands from 5 cm apart, are etched out to the tube to serve as strings. At midpoint of the tube below the strings, a small sound hole is bored and covered by a small bamboo plate clipped with the strings. When played, the strings are struck by the bamboo stick or plaque. In Northern Luzon, Mindoro, Mindanao, and Palawan, the instrument with slight variations is found where they are known by such names as Tambi, Bamban, Tabengbeng, Kudling, Tabogo, Tambabo, Takumbo, and Patigunggung. These lutes are found only in the south, the Mindanao and the Palawan. These instruments are of the long neck variety with two strings that run from the neck to the base of the resonating chamber. One string plays a drone and the other melody. The location of the number of frets vary between groups, though all the lutes are fretted. The Maranao and the Magindanao Kudyapi frets are glued on the body of the resonating chamber, while the frets of the Bilaan, Puglong, the Mansaka in the Mandaya Kudlong, and the Palawan Kudyapi are located on the neck of the instrument. In Mindanao, one string bowed lutes called pedals of a long neck variety are found. These instruments have a sounding box made from a coconut half shell covered with a lip or a piece of bark or a skin animals. The string is made of abaca fibers, horse hair, and more recently wire. It is called Doagi by the Manubo and the Blaan. A favorite string in song called Comparsa emerged in the later period of the Spanish regime. This was an adaptation of similar instrumental groups in Mexico, like the Morza or Morga in Spain is Estudiantina. In the early years of the American regime, the comparsa was superseded by the rondalia. The bandoria is a pear shape with a rounded back, the round sound hole, and the pleated neck. This serves as the melody instrument of the in song. Octavina and the bandoria are torn an octave below the loud. These instruments furnish the inner harmonies and contrapuntal elaboration to the melody. The guitar's main function is to supply the arpeggiated or chordal underpinnings of the ensemble, while the banjo, the unas, is turned like the contra bass or bass. The next is the membrano cones. The single and double heated drums are found throughout the Philippines. These are variously shaped conical, cylindrical, goblet shaped, barrel shaped, the animal skin like snake, deer, or goat is used as head or heads of the drums. This many of the beaten with sticks or by the palm portion of the bare hands. The drums are seldom used alone except to announce tidings over the long distance. They are usually played with other instruments, particularly gongs 
to form different kinds of ensembles. We have different categories. Number one is tubular drum. Are divided into cylindrical, conical, barrel long, waisted, like hourglass shape, goblet with a stem at the base, and footed with a feet around the edge of the bottom. Number two is the kitel drums, are vessel drums, have rounded bottoms, in a frame drums. The membrane is stretched over the frame, usually making a wide, shallow instrument, like tambourines are in these categories. Friction drum come in a variety of shapes. Instead of beating on the membrane, the player run or runs a stick through a hole of the membrane. The sulibaw and the kimbal of the buntok and ibaloy people are longitudinal, slightly barrel shaped, hollowed out lugs with a deer skin heads on one end. Taller drum, about 80 cm, is called a kimbal. The shorter, which is 75 cm, is called the sulibaw. Drum head is small, measuring about 6 cm in diameter. These are played with palm of two hands. These drums are combined with gongs in other instruments to form different types of ensembles. Like the Ipugao Libit, Lundag is a conical drum with a deer or goat skin head. This is played with a gong during the harvest time under the rice granary. Another one is the bakan. It is a large goblet-shaped drum used in the Maranao or Maranao and Maguindanao in their kulintang insums. Next is the electrophones. These are the newest category of instruments. They have only been around since 20th century. They produce an electronic sound. There are two main families of electrophones, the electronic instruments and the amplified acoustical instrument. 